guys, so Kenny and Nicole reached out to me and a few other ladies. Sylvia from Hello and Nails, Steph from Steffi Ray, Michaela from Michaela Beautiful Life, Rita from Rita Beauty X, and also Carla from Love for Polish to do a spring nail polish picks collab. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. If you are interested, go ahead and check out the other ladies. So let's get started. The first one that I do plan on wearing is Trendy. This gave me OG flip-flop fantasy vibes. They are not dupes, but I still love it. There's some flex in here. I don't really think that they translate to the nail too much, but they do give a little bit of shine to your polish. This one for me was a two coater if I did a thicker second coat, but if I did do my usual thin coats, this one was a three coater. The next one should be no surprise, but this is Peaches and Cream from the Candy Johnson collab. Uh, I'm trying to stay away from those polishes, you guys, but this is actually one that I haven't been wearing so much because it was so hard to find, but I'm gonna kick it up a notch. I will be wearing it this spring. This one is Tell Me About It. This is a pastel yellow. You guys, yellow makes me so happy. I don't know why people don't like yellow. If I did a thicker second coat, this one was opaque in two, but it was a three coater for me. The next one is Orly's Vintage. This is a neon mint kind of color. The bottle does not do this polish justice. It makes it dull. It makes it look a little bit more drab than it actually is. The next one is Boho Blues. This is a polish that I've picked up many times and I've never purchased until recently. This is a periwinkle shade. It's a little bit thin on the first coat, but it does get opaque on the second. Next one is one from Essie, and this is Goginza. This is very, very pale purple. The formula in this is not the typical Essie formula that we all know and do not like. This one I was able to get opaque in two coats if I did a, a thicker second coat once again. I do like thinner coats, so in general for me this one is a three coater. The next one should be no surprise. This is Blonde Out from the China Glazes Spring Fling Collection. This white formula just blows me away. I cannot stop thinking about it. When I originally saw that China Glazes was putting a white in their collection, I was a little bit disappointed but I'm not disappointed anymore. This is the best white. It's not chalky, it's not sheer, it's it's just perfect, perfect. The next one is Plummet with Excitement. This is a blush pink that I was able to get opaque in two coats, but it could be a two to three coater. It looks so plain. It looks like a color you've seen before, but it's the tone of this color that just makes me so happy. And I gotta admit, it's from the Beauty and the Beast collection, so I'm feeling a little nostalgic about it. And the last one is Beautifully Bizarre from Orly. This one I was able to get opaque in about two coats, but I can see this one being a three coater. So those are the polishes that I plan on wearing this spring. Let me know what you guys are wearing. Are you planning on wearing pastels? I know some people aren't into that. Uh, make sure you check out everybody's video. I will leave a link to their channels in the information box, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!